So, you know, treatment basically works. It makes people live longer. Um, and now people with HIV are no longer living just years, but decades. And what we are slowly beginning to learn is that um, many of the diseases that we associate with getting old, like heart disease and cancer and osteoporosis and even things like dementia, um, are occurring younger at an earlier age in HIV-infected people compared to people without HIV. Now, it's important to realize that this, is only, this has mainly been observed in people who once had very advanced disease um, uh, and are now doing better. Um, what is, remains to be determined is whether people who are starting therapy very early in the disease process, whether this is happening to them. My, my feeling is probably not, but, but time will tell. So the, the big one people are most interested in now is heart disease. And we're only interested in this primarily because it's so common in people without HIV. And it seems to be more common in people with HIV. So it is ultimately going to be the major reason why most people with HIV die, just like in the general population. The interest primarily now has been on trying to figure out why our patients are getting heart disease earlier than they should. And the answer to that is almost certainly complicated. Multiple things are happening. One, people with HIV tend to have substance abuse issues um, more than people without HIV. Two, the drugs are having some toxicities. They can make cholesterol levels high. Um, and three, the virus is somehow causing a residual inflammatory process and inflammation. Um, Long-term, low-level inflammation is probably partly why we're seeing this phenomenon. So now that the field is sort of accepted that chronic inflammation occurs in people with HIV on therapy and that it may have some consequences, there have been a number of uh, studies that have moved into the clinic to try to figure out how to fix that. Um, and the most important one uh, right now is a big ongoing study looking at early therapy versus late therapy. Um, starting therapy uh, with a very high CD4 count versus waiting. Um, to see if starting therapy early prevents some of these complications. So that's happening. Uh, other um, uh, interventions that are being looked at are, are things that are really meant to reduce the inflammatory process. And this would include uh, looking at drugs like the statins um, and a number of other drugs which are thought to have an ability to reduce the inflammation. I personally right now am most interested in trying to get my patients to do things which are known to be associated with healthy aging. Some of it may be related to low inflammation exercise, Mediterranean diet, um, this kind of stuff, weight loss. So that's, right now it's all about prevention and interventions to deal with the inflammatory process.